This is your Weather Extreme video for Friday, December the 28th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. The surface low is formed over the southeast Texas, southwest Louisiana, northwest Gulf area, and that is already spreading a little bit of rain just to our west, so it looks like the forecast is coming into shape with rain coming in this afternoon. In the upper atmosphere, we're still dealing somewhat with a ridge, but uh, the trough off to our west is nudging ever so closely as everything is moving rapidly through the flow. Temperatures this morning have actually climbed some since last night. Temperatures uh, around the area generally in the mid-30s for the most part, a little cooler in the eastern part of this the state. As I say, rain is getting closer. You can see on the uh, composite uh, radar for the southeastern U.S., you can see rain extending from about Houston all the way up to the vicinity of Muscle Shoals in Memphis. So that rain will be moving in our way this afternoon and overnight tonight. Looks like it'll be out fairly quickly on Saturday. The next storm system is causing already some problems with uh, winter storm advisories and watches in effect all the way from uh, it looks like about the Red River Valley all the way across Arkansas and the Ohio River Valley up into the mid-Atlantic states and Pennsylvania. Uh, kind of the same or similar path of the previous weather system. For us, it looks like it'll be rain and it looks like we're probably going to get about one to maybe two inches of rain over uh, much of central and north Alabama over the next uh, five days. And Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking a specific area for a risk of severe storms, but the Gulf Coast area was once again under the gun with a marginal situation. All right, the morning computer runs, and these are the 06Z uh, GFS as well as the 0Z uh, European. And again, uh, trouble with uh, NOAA's website, so we're using an, uh, an, another website. Here's the 500 millibar pattern for today, and you can see that trough Coming our way out of Texas, and of course that will be bringing rain our way, and uh, this is by 18Z, so certainly looks like the rain comes in this afternoon. European, uh, on the other hand, is just a tad slower, but that means still the rain should be here by this afternoon and into the overnight hours. The trough comes across the Mississippi River tomorrow, uh, Saturday, by midday. And, of course, that should mean that everything moves out very quickly. But a little bit of wraparound, and the European, uh, very similar to this pattern, a little bit of wraparound moisture and the possibility that we might see a little rain-snow mix or perhaps uh, you know light sleet or perhaps a little snow flurries before it all ends. But once again, not a major issue for, uh, for us or anybody else. And uh, just noting the 850 millibar temperature do, does indeed support the possibility of that. And you see the zero degree isotherm coming down uh, into the vicinity of a little south of Tuscaloosa and a little south of Birmingham and just a little south of Anniston. All right, moving out to Sunday and uh, we come under a ridge. So that should keep us nice, but a little cool perhaps. We stay under the ridge on uh, Monday, but things begin to happen as that next weather system comes out of the southern Rockies and out of the Four Corners area. Uh, that system edges ever so closely uh, as it ejects northeastward across the Mississippi River on uh, Tuesday, January the 1st. And with that, of course, we see another round of rain coming our way beginning probably earlier in the day. So it looks like a bit of a rainy day. Once again, some slight model differences. The uh, uh, You can see the GFS uh, is having much of the rain maybe coming out out of the western sections by midday. The European, on the other hand, is a tad slower. Once again, pretty good agreement in these, uh, in these models, considering that just a couple of days ago they weren't doing too well with each other. Uh, and the GFS has maintained its pattern. The European has come into agreement with that pattern. Wednesday, uh, once again, we come under a bit of a weak ridging. Uh, and uh, that should dry us out, but we are watching weather systems just to our south. <clears throat> this is one of those situations that makes meteorologists a little edgy when you get the cold air just to our north and you get weather systems traveling across the northern Gulf. makes you a little edgy because that's the formula for a winter weather event in the southeastern U.S. I'm not forecasting a winter weather event in the southeastern U.S. Just this is the kind of thing that makes you edgy in case the models are off just a little bit. 
When we get out to January the 3rd, we see uh, the trough shaping up and certainly looks like it's going to turn colder again. And uh, we dry out with a nice surface high pressure centered over Missouri and that uh, giving us a nice northwesterly flow. And um, by Thursday, still dry. Uh, the weather still along from northwest Florida out into the southeast coast. And by Friday, a week from today, once again, kind of a, a ridge, but you can see there's a little vorticity center moving through the area in the vicinity of North Alabama. And uh, it looks like that one will be dry with a surface high, and so we should be dry uh, for that particular event. All right, moving out into voodoo country, and yes, you know, I said this yesterday, the weather system very fast, very progressive. Here comes another one in the 5th, 6th time frame. This is 18Z midday on the 6th, but it looks like, you know, it'll be approaching us on the 5th. So 5th and 6th could be uh, wet days. We see another system around the 10th, and we see another one around the 12th. So once again, the pattern remaining, if the GFS is right, remaining pretty active. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted on Saturday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to join us on ABC 3340 this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 for the latest weather information. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.